In Psalms 56, verse 4, it says, In God I trust, I am not afraid. You must not be afraid any longer. So often we are afraid for ourselves, and then as life goes on, we're afraid for our children. As life goes on, we're afraid for our grandchildren. As parents and as grandparents, uncles and aunts, one of the hardest things we ever have to do is let go of our children so that they may learn something new and live their own lives in their own way. So whether we're handing over the car keys for the first time, there's a Geico commercial on TV where a father is doing this to his daughter, and I relate to that. Or we're taking off the training wheels on the bike of the first grader and letting them for the first time try to ride it without falling down. There is a hesitancy in the adult to do this. We feel unsure that what we're doing is right. But we do more than hand over the car keys or take off the training wheels of the bike of the first grader. We pray for our children. We pray for our friends. We pray for our family members. And we remain strong and supportive, especially spiritually, knowing that God is taking greater care of them than we could ever hope to do. Letting go and letting God be in charge we're able to relax and enjoy the experience of watching others stretch their wings and become the full potential that they can become in life. We discover more about what they're capable of doing and capable of achieving. God bless you, my friend. And one last message. Remember to do this also with yourself. Not holding on with a grip to the past so much that you're afraid to make any kind of change. Instead, you let go and you let God. God bless you and God will.